Anthony Gitinji is the founder of Semiconductors Technologies Limited, or STL, about three hours' drive from Nairobi. He brought the know-how to Kenya from the United States, where he started work in 1997 on semiconductors, materials that conduct electricity, and are used in thousands of products. Finding workers with the right skills was a challenge, but he says meeting the vice chancellor of Dedan Kimathi University of Science and Technology, also known as DECUT, was a game changer. DECUT and STL formed a partnership that allowed for us to engage STEM-related education and develop it and, and tool it and orient it towards our specific industry, which is in the semiconductor and microchip space. And so uh, we started attaching students and having internships through STL. STL employs about 100 engineers, 70% of them women. Irene Gittage is a process engineer with a background in telecommunications and electrical engineering who graduated in 2019. At STL, our goal or our vision is to be the leading chip manufacturer in Africa. And just to give context, a chip is like the driver or the brain of every system you can think of. And it is usually integrated uh, on a circuit board, but they're usually very small in size. Uh, I can just show you here just a few millimeters they're inside here, yet they contain thousands of transistors. Semiconductors are used in almost every sector of electronics. In consumer electronics, for example, they are used in microwaves, refrigerators, mobile phones, laptops, and video game consoles. Getich says she entered the STEM sector after reading an article about another woman in the field. So when I read through what stood out for me is that she mentioned that uh, in her class there were only two ladies and uh, of course I love doing challenging things, yeah, so that stood out for me. Lorna Muturi is a mechatronics engineer who will be graduating this year. Just 22 years old, Muturi has already been working at STL for two years. We need a process to run from one stage to another, so if that doesn't happen, well, I come in and I, I figure out what is wrong, either in the code work or in the machine hardware itself, and then from there we can figure out what we can do to re rectify that. STL CEO Gitinji says the company's extremely competitive human resource development program helped bring in more women. What you see at STL, whether it's deliberate or inadvertent, is a result of pretty rigorous um, you know, attention to the human resource capacity of the individual. And so it so turns out that these young women in STEM at SDL have a very compelling story to tell. They are extremely intelligent, they are doing exceptionally well, they are training very well, and they're producing very well. The company is working to establish relationships with other universities in Kenya, such as Strathmore and University of Eldoret, as well as in Uganda and Rwanda. Mariama Jalu, VOA News, Nairobi.